Hi everyone, I hope you're all well. Today I'm going to show you how to um, split your master bus in Sonar Catewalk Platinum into mid and side. Uh, what that is, your mid is your mono information and your side is your stereo information, the difference between the left and right channels and doing it this way you've got so much control how you process your information right so what you need to do uh, let me just delete these and I'll start from scratch right what you want to do is insert four stereo buses one, two, three, four. Um, this one is going to be your master output where everything is rooted to, and that goes out to your your sound card or your whatever you use as your output. Then this one. This wants to be, you can name these whatever you like, I just name them like this for ease so I know what's what. That's a pre-master, that's where everything is going to get rooted to. And for this, for the pre-master, you want to select your output to none. So that's, um, that signal isn't going anywhere because we're going to use some sends to send to the mid and side. Right, and what you might want to do as well, because um, that output isn't going anywhere, you might want to come into preferences, uh, initialization file, and you want to disable the wall because if you have a, if you if your bus is not going anywhere when you load your project up or your template it's going to um, give you a warning that you've got a silent um, output that's not going anywhere so to stop that happening you want to write this in here let's just copy that let's delete that for a minute so you want to write warn silent buses and value zero and then click set and that will stop sonar notifying you that you've got a silent bus right then for these two buses call one mid and one side Right, on your mid, you want to send that to the output to the master bus, which is where it's going to get all merged back into one. And do the same on the side, that goes out to your master bus. Then on your pre master, you want to insert a send one to your mid and make it pre-fader then insert another send one to your side and again pre-fader so everything that's been routed into your pre-master now the signal is going to get sent to your mid and your side so on the mid channel what you want to do insert effects chain move that to the top then you want to insert channel tools and then on this one you want to turn your side gain right down so all you're getting through this one is the mid channel then on the side 
same thing again effects chain move it to the top insert channel tools and on this one because it's the side you want to turn the mid down so you're only getting the stereo information come through that that piece um, Yep, and that means you can process the mono information and the side information separately. You can EQ them differently, you can add compressors, um, distortion, whatever you want. You've got so much flexibility this way. Right, so that's all set up. Now, on any tracks or See, this is my setup. This is how I do it. I have them all in track folders. I have all my drums together. My individual tracks get routed to an aux track. So all my drums get routed to a drum aux here. Now, it's, it acts like a bus. It's the same thing, but it just keeps it all nice and tidy in one, one place. So all my drums sit together. Anyway, but anyway, on your buses, what you want to do is send the output to the pre-master. If you don't use buses, or you just all you want to do is set your tracks to your pre-master, so they all get split into the mid and side signals. So on all my output buses for my groups, they all want to go to the pre-master. All my music to the pre pre master. Right, so everything is going to get rooted to your pre master, which is getting to, which is getting split into mid, the mono information, and the side information, and then then they're getting rooted to the master output which goes to your sound card right so let's play this let's route that to the pre-master so it's going to get split into mid and side channels and press play so now you've got your mono information sound like if you collapse you mix the mono, that's your mid. Then you've got your side information, the stereo part of the track, the difference. So maybe for instance you wanted to add a bit more brightness to your side channel and maybe dip out some lows so the mid channel stays Anyway, that's how you set up, um, how you split your mid side, your, your master bus into the mid and the side. Thank you. Bye bye.